Hey guys, this is Nicole from KenHub and welcome to our tutorial on the anatomy of the horizontal sections of the brain. In this tutorial, we're going to be helping you understand the orientation and structural anatomy of brain slices. Initially, we're going to try and give you a better understanding of which part of the slice lies anteriorly and which posteriorly in the brain, and most importantly, why, by identifying structures that are unique in either the front or the back of the brain. Then we'll cover the lateral sides of our horizontal sections by exploring them from the surface of the brain to the thalamus. Before we delve into the anatomy of brain slices, it's extremely important to remember the very crucial distinction between the grey matter and the white matter of the brain. So you might remember that grey matter refers to the regions of the brain occupied by the cell bodies of neurons. And these regions appear in a slightly darker pink colour in the cross sections. The white matter refers to the whiter regions you can see where neuronal axons are often covered in lipid-rich sheets of myelin, which appears white when fresh. The dense layers of myelin causes most light to be reflected back to the viewer, and areas that are not myelinated heavily, such as the grey matter, absorb much more light and thus appear darker. Destruction of myelin would result in change of colour in a gross specimen, but it's important to note that although the demyelinated area might have a colour similar to that of a grey matter area, it would not actually be considered a true grey matter area because, as we've already explained, grey matter areas contain neuronal bodies while demyelinated areas still contain neuronal axons. So we're going to start our tutorial by looking at the anterior part of a horizontal brain slice and learning to identify it based on the deep brain structures. And the first structures that we must become familiar with are the anterior horns of the lateral ventricles and their relationship with the heads of the caudate nuclei. We're going to refer to these structures in addition to other neighbouring structures we find anteriorly in the horizontal section as the anterior regions. And this is not an official term for this group of structures, but it's rather used to help you remember which structures you should be able to identify when you navigate yourself in a horizontal slice. So let's have a closer look at the lateral ventricle. So how do we know if what we're looking at lies anteriorly or posteriorly in this section? This is a really important question, especially since the lateral ventricle is a large structure that spans the anteroposterior axis on either side of the brain. So how are we going to tell which side is which? If we look closely in our image, we'll notice that we can see ventricle-like spaces found both at the top and at the bottom of the image. So it's not all that hard, really. If you have a look at the part of the lateral ventricle that is highlighted on the top of the image, which corresponds to the anterior part of the section. And with a little dose of imagination, you can see that the two horns seem to form a V-like shape, and they're much closer to one another than the two horns at the bottom of the image, which is the posterior part of the section. Moreover, if you check out this large grey matter region, which lies directly laterally to the anterior horns, the association with this large grey matter region is unique for the anterior horns. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.